be done with shame. Oh, yeah. Right? This one was like, this, this one really stood out to me because I think shame and guilt are things all of us carry in so many different ways. They weigh us down. They let us potentially push someone away that we love. They block us from receiving love. Yeah, like, yeah. Shame and guilt are just this huge, what looks like a shield, but actually is just a barrier and yeah. keeping things out and, and not letting us be ourselves and not letting people love us. Talk to me about what shame and guilt has blocked in your life and how you've changed your relationship with shame and guilt. Yeah. So Brene Brown uh, talks about shame as shame is I am bad and guilt is I've, did, I've done something bad. And guilt can be a good thing, right? It makes us not repeat the same mistakes, but shame is a deep, deep belief of Say I'm that not, again. That's really powerful. Okay, it's, so repeat, yeah, it's so good. I know. So Brene, again for Brene Brown describes two things, shame and guilt. Shame is I am bad. Guilt is I've done something bad. Guilt can be good and healthy because it helps us to not make the same mistakes again. Shame is extremely difficult and heartbreaking because it's a deep belief of I am bad. I'm not good enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not that enough. And when we live our lives from a place of shame, we miss out on, on being our true authentic self. And so I almost could cry talking about it because shame, it, you know, in friends that I've, close friends that I have that have experienced shame, it breaks my heart because you can see, you know, debilitating. It's, it, it's debilitating. And in my own life, areas where I've felt some shame, maybe I'll go back to high school, maybe, you know, other girls getting the boyfriend or this or that, me not feeling pretty enough, for example you have to do the inner work, right? Because it's like, that's not true. It's like, I am beautiful. God's created me exactly the, the way that I am um, meant to be. And if I go on to carry that shame, then that's going to affect me. It's going to affect me when I'm out on dates. It's going to affect, you know, how I see myself. And that um, is extremely detrimental. And so you get through shame through first acknowledging it, being able to speak it aloud, maybe to a trusted friend, and then you pray about it or you meditate on it. And that's when you do the inner work of like, okay, God, the universe, help me to see myself as you see me. Beautiful, wonderful, made exactly the way that I was created to be. And it takes time and it takes work. Tanya's really big on visual, like seeing things visual. So she, you've told me before about your body, you'll write on the mirror, I am this, I am beautiful, I am this. And, and seeing it and speaking that over yourself. So when negative thoughts come, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't like my love handles or whatever. It's like, I'm beautiful. The, my love handles are beautiful and speaking truth over yourself. And that is how you come against shame. Wow. That's a great explanation. Yeah. Thanks, Raquel. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm just going to, no, 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 but I, my friends that I, I, and you can see it on people and you can feel it off of them and it holds them back. And that's why I care a lot actually about, we want to take this book into schools and into mm -hmm. junior highs and high schools because kids that are dealing with shame, their brains are still developing or is it's a lot harder when you're adult. I think about my friends that are adults and they are, are experiencing that shame. It's a lot harder to move forward and, and change those negative self-beliefs but when you're younger it's mm -hmm. a, it's easier because your your brains aren't fully developed so it is possible everyone can do the work everyone can heal and change but it absolutely breaks my heart and and for anybody who's listening who feels shame about something in their life maybe they haven't ever shared with anybody it's like it doesn't matter what it is you are you are enough nobody is ever too far gone there's a mistake you've made there's nothing you've done that can't be um healed and mm. it's just yeah and the difference yeah. that, that she expressed from Brene Brown the difference between guilt and shame is so powerful so because powerful. it is yeah. it's like we've all we all make mistakes we all trip we all fall and being able to kind of like speak on that guilt pray about it I made that mistake and I don't want to live in that mistake and moving forward with my life like is so there's so much power in that, that yeah. I think a lot of people don't know how to get to the other side yeah and and I think often we stop other people 
moving on with their guilt because we're still stopping ourselves from moving on from our guilt. Yeah. And it's like an insecurity when we see someone sure. say, I'm going to leave my shame behind, guilt helped me grow. And we, we can't deal with that because we're, we haven't done that for ourselves. Yeah. Um, so powerful. And, and I'm putting it out there too. I think, I think this book would make a great book club book. Yes. Uh, I can see a lot of people reading it together, uh, reflecting on a lot of these ideas, doing these challenges together. Like it's a very practical book. And, for sure. yeah. and I'm a big fan of practical books because I think that it's not just a book that you're going to read on your own. Hopefully there's a book that you grab for your friends. You're going to read it together. You're going to discuss all these, even in the way us three are like, this is really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I find this really therapeutic. Like, you know, I, and I feel part, like I'm in therapy right now. Yeah, well, even me, but even me, like, I feel like I'm opening up because you guys are opening up yeah. and there's these beautiful themes that you've selected in the book that everyone can relate to. Like none, none of this, everything that everyone, everything we've all said is, is stuff that we're all dealing with in very unique, different ways. Totally. 